have to realize, and keep in mind, is that just like we are required to follow the Sunnah, the example of the Prophet Sallallahu in our lives, in the way we, you know, live, eat, drink, you know, the way we pray, the way we worship, okay? It's also part of his sunnah to be a loving person. I don't mean by this loving person, the lovey dovey person who has, he walks around in the streets and he's all like loves in the air. I'm not talking about that hallucinating person. You know, you never know what, what, what's up with this person. No, I'm talking about loving where he's passionate. He's passionate towards those people in his life that he loves. He's a person of, of real passion, right? It's part of the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So once he was on his, on, his, on his way back from one of the, the battles of Khaybar, and he was heading towards Medina. This is after he had carried his sword and, and had some roles to fulfill on the battlefield and so on. You find that he still walked back in front of everyone as a man who is a leader. At the same time, he walked back to the two uh, fulfill a duty of showing his love towards his wife, Sophia. And in front of all his companions, he went down onto the floor and put his knee so that his wife, Sophia, would step on it so that she could ride the animal. And all his companions are watching him. And this, keep in mind, that this was after a, 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 a battle. And this shows us really a great example of how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not have any, anything shy to be about, anything to be shy about when it came to, you know, letting people know that this is my wife and I do respect her and I do show my emotions in a suitable way so that she can, you know, move on with more comfort. This is only one example out of many, many other examples. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, once he was walking with his companions and they were on the way in, in, uh, on an expedition and he told his companions to go ahead so that he can raise his wife Aisha radiallahu anha behind them all. And then when she got a little bit older, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised her again and he told her, this is for the other race that you want me and you want for one you win me once and I'll win you again and it happened several times when Rasulullah would you know have this relationship of love towards his wife and really you know have, have, have a bit of that joy that was free from immorality but the point that I wanted to share with you from this story brothers and sisters is how Rasulullah didn't have that shyness of giving recognition to someone very special in his life. I mean, one thing for sure that I find that Muslims have it, and I find it, unfortunately, it's, it's spread between a lot of people. It's the fact that they might shy away from, you know, really having these emotions manifest, but in the right way. Don't get me wrong when I say this, I say in the right way, free from immorality. Where it's done as a gentleman, when it's done with a way of respect, it's done in the right time, right place. So, this is just an example to show you how Rasulullah was as a great man with the greatest of women, his companions, the, the, who were his wives.